There's nothing more in this world that pisses me off more than someone trying to sell me something that is completely incorrect or just blatantly dries a narrative that's just a complete utter fucking lie. So basically in summary, I was just scrolling around in TLC because for like the past decade, TLC has been that one little spot or like that one little place that you go around with a group of friends and like to talk shit about someone. That's basically TLC in a nutshell. And so, basically, I found this, this fucking random ass video about some woman claiming that she's like a transgendered man who basically married another woman and had a double vasectomy. Basically, uh, <laughs> I guess birth control for like forever. And obviously, I'm going to push this video with my own narrative and my own biasness, but there's something just so wrong about this video that pushes like a propaganda against science and just everything in this video is just incorrect and just, just so blatantly weird. And before you find my IP address and resurrect Osama bin Laden's body from the dead, I am going to, obviously, going to hit a little bit on the transgender, like, I guess, point on this video. It's not making a point, but the fact that it's just so incorrect and just, just destroys science all alone, I just don't like the fact that it does that. And actually, I have no problem with people claiming to be something, even though you're not that thing. However, Huge fucking however, you cannot claim to be something and be so wrong and just look at yourself adamantly like if you are that person. It's like the transracial shit, like, that's not who you are and you're not like fucking Asian when you're like black or some stupid shit like that. Or like in my own opinion, I don't think a person could claim to be a woman when they are a man. It's just, it makes the science and like children look at you like, what the fuck is he talking about? Doesn't, doesn't this guy have a penis? Hello? It's just this video all alone is saying that men can give birth to children. Like, where in the fuck in this goddamn world? What, what world are we fucking living in? I want evidence historically and scientifically where a man can give birth to another person. I want that fucking shit on my goddamn eyes right now. So basically every single time I stop the video, I'm just going to like, just rush in like every single little fucking stupidity that comes out of their goddamn mouth. And I just don't like this video at all. You're going to see how ridiculous they, they fucking sound. And even in my own mind, and I hope that in their own mind, they could see how dumb they sound after these goddamn videos come out of TLC. My name is Ari. I am transgender. I live in this world as a man. I always wanted to carry a child. I always wanted to be pregnant. I was assigned female at birth. My Did you hear that correctly? She was assigned as a girl at birth. Now keep that in mind because this is going to be used against her throughout the video. As a lesbian when I was 18, and they were very supportive. Caitlin was my first love. We met in college. I remember it was our second day of class and I saw Caitlin and I thought, that is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Yeah, I can't say I noticed you for a while. It's fair. Many months. We briefly dated for about three months and Caitlin broke up with me and broke my heart, but I always was completely in love with Caitlyn and always thought that I wanted to marry her and end up with her and I knew that she was the hottest person I would ever have sex with my entire life. Now right now there's clearly nothing wrong right now at the point of this video, but clarification, I'm not a transphobe because I don't care about the situation of someone else's standard of living. They can live as much as they want but doesn't mean that it's a bulletproof scenario where criticism cannot be shot at. And I wouldn't care at, at, at all if they met at a school dating as lesbians. I never felt very comfortable um, or very pleased with my body. And then in my mid twenties, I came to the realization that I would want to live my life as a man. I started taking testosterone. If you guys don't know this, if there's a lot of people who are transgendered who are men and women turning into men transgender wise. And so there's a product called uh, or a supplement called testosterone. And this basically could turn you basically into a man's physique. 
average wise we're talking about like muscly wise it, even like an upper strength even it gives like the physique of a man and basically i wouldn't say it's like a delusional way of saying it but i see what this what's like what's he coming from from this because it gives you the physique of a man you look like a man and if people look at you for the first time they're going to question you they're not going to question you whether you're a man or a woman they're going to look at you like a normal man but however, there's going to be something wrong with the video later on. Yeah, I get the door for you, okay? Today, we have an appointment with our doctor. Can we check in? Hi, can I Hi. help you? Yes. Just checking in. We have 9.30 for Ari. I got pregnant about eight and a half months ago through an at-home uh, fun time insemination with can just we, a... Can we redo that and not say fun time? <laughs> no. You told me to tell you if you said weird things, and this is a weird I thing. I want to say weird things. <laughs> um, I got pregnant using a known donor. He's a friend who fit a lot of the qualities that I would want for my family. We put his sperm into a syringe, and Caitlin actually put the syringe into me on his apartment bathroom floor mm -hmm. and then i got pregnant mm -hmm. you know how i was telling you guys that you know there's gonna be like this one point that's gonna be used against him later on the video well that's the point uh, that i'm trying to make you are born with a vagina obviously you have the genes of a woman and you basically have ovaries and this is pretty hard to come back from like you can't really counter argument this because you can't really fight back because you are a woman born into a woman you're not going to be a man uh from the beginning having a fucking baby it's just ridiculous i don't know what's this person well, what this lady is thinking but it's just it's just fucking blatantly weird and like i said before i don't care what you identify as i just i wouldn't care like you could do whatever the fuck you want you could go kiss another dude in the fucking lips and i wouldn't even give a shit the problem is, is that you shoving a whole damn camera, showing it to the whole fucking world that a man can have a fucking baby. That's where I'm going to talk shit about you. If you might say, oh, I'm just going so rough on them. I don't care. It's a lie and it's incorrect and they need to like fucking redo like a goddamn video of this shit. By the way, another small little point and detail. Didn't she just fucking claim that she uh, basically like met a old friend and basically got a syringe and then put it inside of her? Does this, doesn't that just result that you are a woman, right? And you gave birth as a woman? I don't know, I just thought that was weird because, uh, you know, I guess it's just pure stupidity, I guess. I grew up in a family with an open mind about gender and sexuality. I identify as queer, I'm gay, but most people see Ari and they expect us to be in a straight relationship. But being gay and saying I have a husband is also very weird. No fucking shit. I mean, this is like if the Nazis were making a fucking alliance with the Jewish people in the 1940s and everyone in the goddamn West was stunned about this shit. I don't know, I just look at it very weird and... Like I said many times, I'm obviously going to be a little, I guess, small and judgmental, I guess. But how does how the fuck does that even work? How can you be gay and be with a husband? Like, listen to your fucking self, man. Go ahead and lie all the way back. We're just going to listen and measure to start out with. All right, so this will be a little chilly. Obviously, the next clip is going to be really fucking disturbing, so if you don't want to watch this video, go ahead and click out this video, because I would have been a little creeped out, too, that a guy was giving birth to a fucking child, too. Because you don't hear this on a day-to-day -day basis, man. This shit is... I, I can't explain it or say it more, more, more than any other word besides calling it fucking blatantly weird. He's pregnant. My main concerns have to do with just making sure that they have a discrimination-free experience. Discrimination-free experience. Discrimination-free experience. Thinking staff at the hospital. This old hag unironically was implying that if a grown-ass dude with a pregnant stomach with an ultrasound walk around a hospital, if you dare even ask a question about the situation, then you're just discriminating. So this lady's basically telling me, so if I hear a man screaming onto my next room bleeding out of his asshole, but he's not a woman, that that man is having a fucking hemorrhoid. 
So that man is a goddamn woman giving birth to a child, not a dude. This this, this video is so fucking ridiculous and silly. Like, come on, you cannot be a dude and give birth to a child. It is literally impossible. Like, there is no fucking. There, we have so much deficiencies to even have a fucking kid or to like produce a child. Like, it's just so fucking ridiculous. The cervix baby jumped is pretty low the head is pretty low and it's actually starting to efface a little bit you are disguised as a woman you are not a man i'm gonna tell you this in front of your face if you were in front of my face i will tell you that you are a goddamn woman you are not a man a man cannot fucking produce a goddamn baby you have genes of a woman and the dna of a goddamn woman this is so delusional, and it's actually a delusional behavior that this this woman thinks that she's a man. It's fucking ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, okay, it looks like it turned into a fucking ISIS video. This guy's balls are going to get mutilated. I have no other way to explain it, and the baby is going to get shoved right back the fuck up again. And then the next push, the baby's head popped out. I could feel their whole body come out and it was so amazing. Why is she saying this like if that's a new experience that a man could do like you're not a man <laughs> for the 20th time. <laughs> so yeah, you're not a man. This is not like a fucking new experience that a man could experience. It's not a fucking thing. You're just a woman in a man's body. That's that's literally it. No other way to put it. You're basically like you have a mask on. That's a better way to put it. <laughs> Oh. Together, Hi, baby. Here's your baby. Look at all that hair. Look at how sweet you are. Look at Instead for hope into the future for the both of these weird fucks, putting a misery onto this child, I'm praying for that child specifically. Fuck those idiots. This is probably one of the worst videos and the weirdest videos I had to cover, and especially with the fact that people unironically support this video by a huge margin. Very huge margin backed up supported by TLC idiots who actually just support this shit or believe this shit because you gotta be living in a goddamn world of a baby mentality because this shit is not real if you believe this <laughs> there, there, there's no hope for you man I'm sorry but yeah sure guys I'm gonna let you guys do your own thing uh, like and subscribe and see you guys later